Hi, right, good morning. Welcome to my Miami vlog. Um, actually, you know what? Let me come back. I need to put a shirt on. Uh, Alright, here we go. Uh, you're probably wondering why do I have no shirt on? Is because we don't we don't turn on the air conditioner here because we're trying to save money. So the least amount of air conditioner as possible. But for you guys, I'll put a shirt on. I'm about to make breakfast. Now, what I like to eat for breakfast in the morning, I like I like oatmeal. I'm an oatmeal kind of guy. The reason why is oatmeal. It's got it's got fiber. You know, I got elevated levels of cholesterol. And like, you can do so much with oatmeal. Like, you can make it sweet. You can make it savory. You can really do it. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you what I do. Okay. I like to make my oatmeal with uh, either almond milk or oat milk. The thing is, when you get almond milk and oat milk, you have to get the stuff with only like three ingredients. A lot of the stuff have like. All this stuff you can't pronounce, and I don't, I don't want that in my oatmeal, okay? Well, I just don't want that in my beverage, just the simple ingredients, okay? And then we just went to Costco, so we got the big oatmeal joints, okay? This is gonna last me for a long time, okay? And then you just pour some oatmeal like so. Uh huh. Actually, do you know what you need to do? We need to. And the other thing is, if you have almond milk or oatmeal, you gotta shake it, okay? Now, you're probably wondering, why is your almond milk in a thermos? Uh, the reason why is because when I was skateboarding with it home, I dropped it and the top broke because the top was made out of plastic. And, uh, yeah, so there's no top, so I had to put it in a thermos. Okay, you always want to have that two-to-one ratio in the oatmeal, meaning the uh, two parts almond milk, one part oatmeal. Get this out your way. And you always, since you're boiling stuff, you gotta put a little bit of salt. I don't know the uh, science behind it, but the salt raises like the boiling point. Okay. And then you do this. Now, let me tell you something. If I have a beef with anything, it is electric stoves. They suck. I don't know how people cook with electric stoves because I don't know what five, four, six, I don't know what the numbers mean. And then I just don't know. Yeah, I just, I just. Okay, so here's the plan for today. We are going to go to the, uh, we're going to go to the WeWork after this, get some work done. I got a, a couple things to do for Dreamy. And then break for lunch, maybe with a friend. We'll see who's around. It is a Monday now, and then uh, tonight uh, I'm gonna do yoga. I'm big on yoga. I love that. Trying to try to knock down my side crow tonight, and then um, probably do some stand-up comedy after that at Red Bar in Brickell, courtesy of Miami Comedy. And that is a full day. I know what you're asking yourself, Ryan. Today, are you gonna make a savory oatmeal or are you gonna make a sweet oatmeal? And I have to say, it's going to be savory. This is what I like to do. I put an avocado on that joint, and I like make a over easy egg. You know, so that way you you really get all your nutrients in that. Like I don't know what avocados, like their genetic components are, but that apparently has like everything you need, like in terms of like nutrients. And then eggs also have like everything you need. And when you buy eggs, you gotta make sure you're getting that grass. Red, red cage free stuff so you're not eating the trauma like you know if you get these factory farmed eggs you're just gonna eat a bunch of trauma you know because their bodies their lives are filled with trauma how's my posture by the way it's looking good I'm trying to I'm trying to knock out that yoga and get excellent ass posture I know in New York they ban the gas stove so it's all about to be electric but they gotta and, and it's for environmental reasons and I'm telling you they need to figure out some other way to save the environment because gas is like gas stoves are better but I also hear it like releases a bunch of like toxic and noxious chemicals indoors but that's why you turn one of these things on or, and you just suck up all that stuff and then I don't know Anyways, uh, me, myself, I am a gas stove type of dude, but in Miami, it's nothing but electric, and it, and it causes me cooking problems. And then look at my brown avocado, because I opened this on um, Friday, it's now on, and it was a little bit too, uh, it was a little bit too uh, hard, you know, and now it's Monday, now it's a little bit brown. Now, as a house husband, I got a 
walk her to work. That's right, walk. Usually I bike everywhere, but are we walking or biking? Uh, we're walking. Okay. But I do have to go. Like right now? Yeah, because I'm, I'm taking the really day. Ooh, let me take my lunch. Oh yeah, I made her lunch. Here, let's see. Shh. Yes, okay, so kimchi, that's easy. You can just buy that out of a, out the store. And then, um, I guess Italians call this uh, a spaghetti. I call it noodles. Um, but you know Chinese food, carrot chicken, red peppers, you know, Chinese stir fry. Now I know what you're thinking. I like to wear my keys on my neck. Now, what do you think about my hair, by the way? It is, I got braids like two weeks ago and I took them out, but I haven't washed my hair yet, so it's still crumping and stuff. I want you to look up reading my diary vlogs. Like, I want to vlog about my diary that I had when I was a kid, because there were some funny things. So, I want you to look at that search volume. Okay, let's ask the people if they want it. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below if you want to read her diary. I should have brought the skateboard then. Yeah, you should have. Like, how am I going to get back? Yeah, you should have. Uh, I got to walk back? Oh my gosh, see? The day in the life of a house husband, it ain't easy, okay? Look at this, that's what I want. A scooter. A trottinette, as they say in Paris. A trottinette, trottinette. How, what time is it? It's like 8.15. It's 8.15 and this is Miami Heat already hitting. This Miami Heat be hitting. 8.15, what's it going to be like at noon? Woo! Crossing the bridge, crossing the bridge. Fun fact, right on this bridge right here, I got run over by a, a dude in a, one of those motorized scooters. I think he was watching YouTube or something, doing an Uber Eats delivery, just knocked me from behind while I was biking. Look at that. Oh. Can y'all see that? And then it really messed up my back, too. I really, really want that skateboard now, because this is about to be like, like 30 minutes round trip without the skateboard, and it could have been 15 to get you there, five minutes to come back. Fun fact, that's the hotel we stayed at when we were thinking about moving to Miami. Oh no, I think she already decided to move to Miami and I'm like, well, I need to check out this town before. Yeah. And I use some points to get in there. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bye. All right, we just dropped her off. And now the long walk back, but I think through the magic of video editing, I can make it really short for you guys. just noticed that I've been recording on time-lapse the whole time. So there's a lot of stuff that is not going to make it in post-production or you're going to watch and be like, I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, so I'll explain. Basically, I like to put an egg and an avocado in my oatmeal, my mush in the morning. Now this is nutritious. You got your fibers, you got all the stuff that avocados have like proteins and you get the nutrients of an egg. It's a hearty breakfast. It does it for me. Um, and the reason why I didn't have my shirt on earlier is because uh, we don't use the air conditioner unless we really need to. Take off that shirt, cool down, then put it back on once you're cool. Miami in the summer is not, it's like, it's like the first city you're in where you're like, man, summers suck. Uh, okay, so then after this, we are gonna go to WeWork and uh, we, we gotta do some marketing stuff today. There's a meeting for uh, Dreamy tomorrow, so I gotta talk to uh, Josh and some other people to see what that's about. Uh, before we go, we'll clean up the house a little bit. Can't have Lizzie come home to a messy house. Then we'll plan our lunch out. You know, maybe we'll do some Uber Eats. The day's kind of up in the air from like noon till, uh, till I do yoga. We're working on that crow pose. Don't forget, I'll let you know if we do it. I don't think I can bring cameras in there, so I'll have to uh, tell you all about it. Can't show you. All right, now it's cleanup time. You can never, never, ever make your breakfast without cleaning that shit up afterwards, okay? It is important for your sanity that your house is always, well,
clutter free. Clean is difficult because shit get dirty every single day, but you gotta make it clutter free. So always put your stuff away when you're done, okay? And so here's the duties of a house husband is you just have to do, you just have, it's like being like Steve Nash. You gotta make the assist, make the other people look good. And then I gotta make the bed. See, you always have to make your bed every morning too. Now let's go to the WeWork and get some work done. Okay, so we is gonna be now we are gonna bike to the WeWork. I actually might stop. Yeah, I might stop by the Apple store. Cause I do need to see why this air tags uh why the battery on this air tag is running out, because it's just quite important to me. Yeah, okay, once again we're gonna hit this bridge. Hold on, I gotta strap in. This is a fixed gear bike, so I can't really brake unless I'm strapped in which I am right now. And now we can get back to it. Oh, it looks like a line. I'm gonna be trying to go to Apple Store this morning. All right, the Apple Store said they cannot replace AirTag batteries. You have to just buy a new battery, which I guess is what I gotta do, cause and the security guard said I can't bring my bike in here. This is an outdoor, we are outside and I can't bring my bike. After that, let's go to, uh, let's go to the WeWork. Got some work done for a couple of hours and I'll see you back. Morning. 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 Say hi. Those are the WeWork folk. It's almost two o'clock actually and uh, Got a little bit bored, want some exercise, so I turned on the Uber Eats app, and uh, we got a delivery at Pierrot's Coffee, good people over there, and it's like two blocks away, so it's a, you know, it's a good way to take a walk, but get paid to do it. Okay, so we'll take you to Pierrot's Coffee. We're gonna pick up a uh, delivery for, let's see, the name is, oh shoot, I'm only at 14%, so I, I gotta do this order quick too. But uh, Rose G, five items. Oh man. Yeah, just it off. Yeah. Alright, Buenas. Uh, do you have a for Rose, please? Reeds. What? Ruby Reeds for Rose. It should be like four Diet Cokes. Yeah, can you confirm it? Yeah, I got you. So we're actually going back to the uh, Rickle City Center. I actually know this building and it's, uh, it actually sucks. I forget what this building is called, but like the lobby's on the sixth floor. They got like really high security. It's a long wait, usually. Hey, what's up my friend? Can I go to Ross G in 906? 906? Yeah. Isn't it like... Nah, I'm just delivering his food. Ross? Yeah. Ask him to tip too if you could. Cause you know. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, buenas, my friend. Uh, I want to go to Ross G in 906. It's other side? Okay. So, 906, we is going. But yeah, I forget what this building is called. I should have looked it up, but. Oh, it's called. I think rise, but if you have to do these, these deliveries kind of suck. But they're all like in Brickell City Center, which is kind of cool. Oh, they are finally. Oh, oh, and I'll tell you what I'll also do. I'll also, um, we'll time this from door to door, right? So we'll know if this really is $2 a delivery and you know, how long is it gonna take me? Like 15 minutes to do it or whatever? No. To walk no. in that. It is, it would be criminal. Insanely criminal. Here we go, let me see. 906. Let me see, where do I go? Apartment 906. Right here. Apartment 906. And now we need to confirm delivery. And they want me to add a photo, which I do like so. And then you type in 906. Oh shit. Mm. Uh, I always put my 
I always put something in this, so. What you don't want to do when you do these Uber Eats is you don't want to be uh, waiting for the elevator. So always put something down. So you're not waiting, like put something in between the door so it stays open. And it's that simple. Submitting the photo, and we'll see how much we is gonna make. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna spend a whole day doing Uber Eats on a vlog, so I'll let you guys know. I, I need to let you guys know what the Uber Eats is like in, in my area, because I've seen some wild stuff here. Hey, thank you, my man. Peace. And now we just walk right back to the wheel work. And I have great news. The app said um, the app pays two dollars, and this guy's going to tip five. So you get seven dollars for essentially ten minutes of work. So multiply that by six, and what that's uh, what fifty fifty four dollars. Right, fifty four dollars an hour. No, forty nine plus seven. No. Fifty six dollars an hour. Oh my gosh, my math is bad these days. Back when I was doing the SATs. Come on instantaneous, $56 an hour. That's the equivalent of $56 an hour. Okay, so now it's almost three o'clock and um, couldn't really find anyone to grab lunch with, so I'm just gonna go home, eat some leftovers. And then, and then I'm basically done for the day. Then I just gotta get hydrated for yoga, practice some jokes for comedy tonight. Man, we is back from Zook. And see, this is what I mean. They gave us so much food. This was like two, three goddamn meals. So we're gonna eat it now. That will be my leftovers for lunch. Kinda wanna take a bite of this now. So, trying out these leftovers. All right, now it's time to hit the yoga. All right, so here's the thing. I don't have a yoga bag. It actually broke, so I gotta use this big Uber Eats bag. It's the only thing that can fit a yoga mat. So let me get my yoga stuff here. I'm also doing comedy afterwards, so I need pants. Pants is a, is a must when you do comedy. Never wear shorts. But in Miami, they do wear shorts, which is kind of weird, actually. But I need a towel. Actually, you got a towel downstairs. Uh, I actually had a towel just uh, I bought off of Amazon, a Shandali, which is like a quick absorbing one. You gotta put one, cause you be sweating at these core power things. So you need to put a, you need to put a yoga uh, towel down. So we're gonna go pick that joint up. I also noticed my hair is pretty wild. I gotta fix this, but I don't wanna run late. So let's, uh, Let's pick up this towel first and then we can fix the hair later. Oh, okay. And here we go. We got a big old towel from Shandal. In fact, let's open it right here. You guys, oh yeah, you need these towels, okay? They do it for you. You need these in your yoga practice. Okay, it'll absorb all that sweat. And then we also want to get to class early. I like to stop by the WeWork and get the good water, okay? There's something about WeWork water that just tastes better than regular ass water, so we're gonna stop by the WeWork. Yeah. And as usual, now we have a full water bottle for C2, and we are good to go. We is at, we is at the Core Power Studio. It is very hard to find. It's on the second floor of the same building that Equinox is in, which is easy to find. But the Core Power is hard to find. No signs or nothing outside. As you can see, look. You can see the Equinox sign, but ain't no Core Power signs. And even when you walk in, there still is no Core Power signs, so. It is on MR. I'm about to turn off the camera because no camera's in the core power, but I'll give you an update when I'm done. So let me just let you know, yoga was great. I was crushing side crow multiple times. Now we're at Red Bar. We'll let you know how comedy goes. That's my guy right there. I haven't seen you all. I know, how are you? Good, how you been? Yeah, I'm good. Did you go to DC as well, though? No? Um, 
Alright, comedy was a success tonight. You know, I got some laughs. I got a couple of laughs, you know, it was Red Bar, Brickle. And uh, now, uh, we, we want to get some wings, we're yeah, going to get, get something get some to eat. Wings. But it's getting late tonight, it's a Monday, okay? Usually I, I go to bed early on Mondays, but since I had to do comedy, I'm out here a little bit later than, uh, than I should be. Yeah, that's but, true. You know, yeah. but we got to eat something. Because you can't be doing hot yoga and then like, drink the free alcohol and, and, and not have a, anything. Uh, we just ordered a uh, bacon and shroom burger and a uh, we'll show you guys. and a we'll lemon show pepper you. lemon pepper joint. Lemon pepper wings. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. All right, so mushroom burger, lemon pepper wings. That's what we're eating for dinner. You take it, show them the wings. These are the wings. This is about to be a Monday in Miami, really. So. Follow, like, subscribe. Is that what they say? Yeah. No, you have to do one. Give us a follow.